everybody. It's Judy Feldhausen, and we're here today making chia strawberry pudding, and it is absolutely delicious and fast to do. And we're going to make the more complicated version today only because I want to, and I'll explain why as I go along. So the first thing we're going to do is actually use chia seeds. And these are organic chia seeds, and there are a variety of different colors. There's white and black and brown, and uh, just happen to be the what I picked up. So you can use any kind of chia seed. But the first thing I'm going to do, which is an additional step to a regular uh, put chia seed pudding, is I'm going to grind these seeds. Why am I grinding the seeds? Well, I have found that children sometimes do not like uh, little chunks of black in their pudding. So uh, by grinding the seeds, they're not going to really see that. And it just makes it a little nicer to look at, but you don't have to do it. I kind of like the, the white with the, uh, with the black dots in it. But either way, so hold on to your ears because really quick, we're going to grind these seeds. And as you see, it doesn't take long. Just ground chia seeds. And now they're just fine for people that, um, you know, don't like to eat a bigger seed. It's now kind of like a powder. So the next thing we're going to do is actually add our pudding base and that is milk and just put it in my blender here. The reason that I don't add the milk to the seeds is that the heavier seed on the bottom is going to clump. If the milk is on the bottom, it will mix easier. Um, I'm using almond milk here. You can use any kind of milk. I like to use almond milk because it's low in calories. This is 30 calories per serving and it's also pretty high in protein. It doesn't have as much protein as cow mil cow's milk, but for all of my friends who are eliminating milk from their diet for various reasons, almond milk uh, full of vitamins and protein and it tastes good. It's a great alternative. Uh, now we're going to um, add our chia seeds and I love chia seeds. Most people use chia seeds for their salads, for their smoothies, because there's a lot of protein in here. There's a lot of good omega-3s. Chia seeds have actually been uh, studied to lower blood pressure and to reduce uh, high cholesterol. So they're, they're known for good, good things. And really easy to do. I want to also add my vanilla, about a half of a teaspoon or a teaspoon of vanilla. And let me just mix that real quickly here because the chia seeds are going to start puffing up really, really quickly. And you don't need to blend yet. Actually, if you just want regular chia seed pudding, here you have it. That's it. And I'll tell you what to do when we're all done. But today we're going to add a fruit to our pudding. And it's fun to add fruit just for a little difference in flavor for what it looks like. Today I'm going to add strawberries. And uh, when I made this last night for the demo, I put uh, four strawberries in here. Today I think I'm going to do six because I, I don't think it looks pink enough. It tastes absolutely awesome. I, I did taste it a little bit before. You don't even have to slice these up. If you're doing these in your blender, just go ahead, put it in, and I'm going to start it so it's going to get a little loud in here. Yeah. 
That's all it is. It's already mixed up. Look at that. And it's already thickening. I don't know if you can see that here, but it's already thickening. So you want to take this and uh, put it in uh, a refrigerator. I actually pour it into, uh, you know, like a, just a mason jar. Pour it in a mason jar and that is it. So this is the pudding that I made last night. You see it's not quite as pink as this one. Really a difference. Can you see the difference? So really it's done. You let it sit for a couple hours. Uh, originally, um, the, the first recipes that I looked at said that you need to, to do it overnight, but when you blend the chia seeds, you really don't need to do that. And look how nice and puddingy this looks like. Is that a word? Puddingy? I don't know. But um, that's really just dish it out into a bowl. Now, if you're going to use this at a fancy party, you may want to use some coconut cream and um, this is my coconut cream whipped cream and you just layer it on the top this has been sitting out a while you can put it in the fridge for a couple minutes that will um, that will make it thicker and then I like to just decorate with the fruit that I'm using. So I have just a couple extra strawberries here and I am slicing them. And then I'm just going to actually put them on my pudding and just put it on, make it look kind of pretty. So gorgeous, so beautiful, so good for you. I mean, why not eat things uh, that will support your gut health and your heart health? Makes sense to me, doesn't it make sense to you? So here we're done with our strawberry chia seed pudding. And I am just going to taste it here. Oh my gosh. Just a little bit of sweetness. Oh, you know what? I forgot what I forgot something. I forgot the, the stevia. You want to add about a half a teaspoon of stevia. I was actually going to put some in from my garden and it's still standing on the plant. So enjoy your chia strawberry pudding. You can use blueberries or anything you want, any type of fruit to add a little bit of color, a little bit of beauty, because we want to put love on the table, love on our plates. So this is Judy Feldhausen, your energy chef, and eat well today. See you soon. Mmm. Delicious.